Today I have a secret to share. This LED driver features a built-in dimmer that many electricians are unaware of. Setting it up is straightforward and allows for seamless dimming and various LED products from panels and downlights to LED strips. We successfully applied this dimming technique recently during an LED strip installation at our favourite Indian restaurant. Be sure to take a look after watching this video. This secret dimming method is incorporated in many Dali LED drivers referred to as switch dim, touch dim or push dim. Dependent on the manufacturer, these techniques operate similarly. We'll take a closer look at how it works once we've refreshed our minds on the input side of the Dali driver. A Dali based LED driver features two sets of terminals, the usual line, neutral and earth connections which will power the driver's electronics and two additional terminals which usually connect control signals from the Dali based lighting control system. The mere mention of the term Dali can overwhelm electricians, triggering thoughts of intricate setups and commissioning processes. This complexity is often associated with lighting control systems commonly used in office environments. However, setting this dimming functionality is really easy, so let's explore this with the LED panel I've got here. You'll see on the driver the two terminals labelled DA, which is usually where we would connect the Dali signals. Also labelled on the Dali connection, you can see the N for neutral, L and switch in series with the other Dali terminals along with the term push dim which is the key to our secret dimming function. To enable this we connect one Dali terminal directly to the supply neutral and the other Dali terminal to the live connection via a momentary action push to make switch also known as a retractive switch. Let's test its functionality. The LED driver remains powered continuously. When I press and hold the switch, the LED panel smoothly dims to a low light level. Releasing the switch maintains the light at that level. Pressing and holding the switch again increases the brightness of the LED panel and releasing it holds the light at the chosen level. A brief press of the switch turns off the light. Similarly, a quick push to turn it back on brings it back to that previous selected level. Not bad eh? Regardless of the system's name, whether touch dim, switch dim or any other, they all operate in a similar manner. However, it's important to follow the wiring diagram closely. In our LED strip installation, we noticed a slight deviation in wiring from what we had previously explained. In this case, one of the Dali terminals was permanently connected to live, while the other terminal had the neutral connection switch, which isn't something we'd usually do in the electrical world. This is a fantastic way to dim LEDs and is considerably cheaper and easier than using a phase dimmed LED driver and trying to pair it with a compatible dimmer switch. However, what about using it on multiple drivers connected together? I've connected four LED panels to these Flex 7 modular wiring cables. These cables are 5 core, similar to those that was used in standard Dali control wiring. I will connect them to the Flex 7 connection box, which links all the drivers instead of a Dali controller. I will wire the push to make switch, providing a momentary live supply as shown in our previous benchtop example. Now you can see the push dim function works across multiple drivers by holding the switch down they dim, push again to raise the light levels and a quick push to turn the lights on and off. This could be a really effective solution for a small office, perhaps a conference room to dim the light levels so people can sleep during presentations. However, you don't tend to see switch dim controls used in commercial projects as building regulations increasingly need to include occupancy sensors and daylight linking, which is beyond this system's capabilities. However, if you'd like to learn more about the Dali protocol and the basics of lighting control, check out the video on screen now. I'll also leave a link in the description. Coming up soon, we'll be looking at controlling Dali drivers using the new Mata Smart Home protocol with this box of tricks from Tridonic. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to be among the first to be notified when the video drops.